Hello, today we will be covering the module Order Preparation for PrestaShop. To access the modules, we will head over to the menu Order Preparation at the top. Here, there are multiple steps. The first, the order selection of which we will be working on a selection of products. The second, download documents which will allow us to download a PDF with a bill of preparation and a picking list. Third step is the preparation of packing where we will be scanning the products. And finally the fourth step, flush shipped orders or confirm shippings. In the first part, we will be selecting the orders the system will be dispatching to be shipped from Presser Shop in four separate tabs. Ready to ship, back orders, pending payment and on hold. For each tab, we will be able to associate the different statuses. To start, we will be working on the tab ready to ship. In general, we will select all the orders. However, in this instance, we will be selecting two products, joining them together and adding them to in progress. From here, the two orders will be added to the progress tab. Once the orders have been selected to be prepared, we will go through the following steps. The first step is to select prepare the two orders. Picking. The second step. By clicking on the button Download Documents, the system will generate a PDF with multiple pages. On the first page, we will have what is called the Global Picking List. The Global Picking List will take all the products which you need for the preparation of all the orders which have been selected. We will have on hand the quantity, images, references and location if you have one. With this Global Picking List, we can head over to our warehouse, collect the products and take the order to be prepared. For each order, we will have a total of three documents. The first document is the preparation list with the barcode of the order and the important information on the products. If this option is activated in the configuration, we will find the bill of shipping to add to the package and the bill. These three documents are for the same order. We will be repeating this step each time for each order. The third step is the packing, where we will be preparing the orders. Select each order individually and have two different options. Either we can select the order via the drop down menu, where we can scan the barcode, which can be found on the top right. Once the order has been selected, the system will display the vital information of the order, but equally the shipped products. Here, we will be validating the different products to prepare, either manually with the buttons or by using the barcode scanner. If we scan the barcode, the system will automatically increase the quantity of the product and display a confirmation message. If, however, we enter a barcode which does not exist, we will be notified with an error message and a beep to warn us of the issue. We will now scan the correct product. Here, our two products have been correctly scanned and it has changed to packed. We are now able to modify the weight. Here, we have a weight equal to 12 because the weight is correctly integrated in PrestaShop. It is possible to integrate weights ourselves. Here we can add 12 kilos and commit packing. Once validated, the status of the order is modified. We will have control on the new status at the packing level. We can, via the transporter label system, automatically download a file which will contain all the order information. We have models which are pre-prepared for different transporters which can be automatically integrated in the transporter module. For example, the shipper TNT, Microjet or WinXP etc. We will then be able to automatically print the shipping label. Once we have the shipping label, we are able to scan and add the direct tracking number or add it manually. We will add the tracking number which is entered at the order level. We will be repeating this step for each order. We can now move on to the next order, scan the barcodes and validate once more the information manually or by using the barcode scanner. Here we have validated the second order. The preparation is complete. We can see the orders have correctly moved to the ship status, however the tracking number has not been added to the first order, as such the status remains packed and not shipped. We can in this event flush shipped orders. This allows us to start a new wave of orders. We have seen the primary functions of the module, there are other variants of the order preparation process however. 
This process is order by order, which means that we will be going over each order separately. Another process is to configure in the settings the option to proceed with mass preparation. At this moment, the workflow will change very little as the first step remains the same. We will take the example of the two orders. The second step will automatically ship orders and download the documents we saw before and the PDF is similar to the one previously generated. This step allows you to integrate the tracking numbers manually in each order or import a file with the tracking numbers from your transporters module. Finally, for the fourth step, notify the client and empty the list. Allows us to send an email to the clients and to remove the orders from the preparation. Location management. The module to manage locations is accessible here. By clicking on it, you will have your products listing and for each product you will be able to define the locations. The management of locations is useful since we are able to add it to the preparation list. The system will add to the order the products by location. That's all for today's presentation. Feel free to visit our other videos.